Hey everyone, welcome back to my workbench. Had to change my setup a little bit. My tried and true Logitech 720 webcam decided to go on me. So I switched back to a different camera. It actually looks pretty good. Anyway, um, I was thinking to myself, and I said, Self, what's the dumbest possible way? to do a mouse on a, on a tiger learning computer. And I realized what I maybe should try is maybe they did something really stupid and did an Apple data bus through a PS2 style connector. Yeah, it's stupid. But it might be tiger. So how am I going to do this? Luckily, I've got my Apple Data Bus 2 PS2 converter. Sorry. USB to PS2 converter. Oh, Jesus. USB to Apple Data Bus. So what I want to do is get a USB, uh, a PS2 cable hacked into the ADB. A okay. Alright, so let's see. So what we have here is this is the 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 wombat which ends in a Um, ADB, which happens to be identical to NAS video connector, which I have tons of those. So now I want to take this rather cheap mouse. This is actually a PS2 mouse. And see. If I can power the cord from this, because I don't have this style of cable just laying around. So let's take a look. This might work, it might not work, but I was thinking, meh. Is it dumb? Yeah. Would Tiger have done it? Maybe. Oh, this is a good candidate. Hold on. How does this come apart? This is a really cheap, crappy mouse. That is off the light pipe, off the lens, and a little tiny camera. Anyway, oh, perfect! Look at that. Oh, that means I can just pull this little guy right off. Theoretically, oh my god, this pipe's gonna destroy the damn thing. Me. All right, there's that. There's that. There's a screw. Get that out of my way. And we have a really, really shoddy connector. Hmm. Well, it's only four pins. <laughs> Do I just snip it off? I don't think I paid much for this mouse, so it probably doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, this is a terrible mouse. Ugh. Alright, so... Hmm. Oh, I can easily splice this back together. So um, my thinking is they have, well, they have to have at least the 5 volt and the data line from PS2. Do I still have that document over? Open. Let's see. Oh, 
on Bozo Pewter, you can do it. Here we go. PS2 port Wikipedia. PS2 port is... PS2... So, pin 1, which is this guy down here, is data. Now let's figure out which pin's which. Stripper, 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 stripper. Let's figure out which pin's which. Shall we? Let's see a tiny wire this is. Start with 28, I have 28, 30. Gee. It's barely a 30. It's more like a 32. There's your small wire. Let's figure out which is which. Wow, you are a little 32. Alright, so that means we're going to hack together or something today. Alright. Multimeter. We have multiple meters here. So give me the beeps. Looking for four pins. Alright. Looking for four pins here, so. Alright, let's clip on the red for giggles. The red for giggles. Let's see, red should be five volts, which so should be on pin four. So looking at it, it's probably gonna be this one. Nope. 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 It's over. The red wire is either on pin six, which it can't be, or pin five, which is clock. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the wrong way. So this is flipped over. This is pin five. Pin five. Oh, write this crap down, Dave. So this is all mirrored. Because why not? Use this IKEA pencil. So looking at the other way, it's gonna go five, six, three, four, one, two. So this is pin five, which is red, which is your clock. Okay, and we'll do next one over, we'll do black. Maybe lucky in black is ground. We're never that lucky though. Black goes to black goes to let's go black is ground. Let's try pin three for giggles. Nope. It's over on pin four. Four is VCC. Wow, this is all backwards. So, because I'm looking at this backwards, it goes this is three. This is four. This is one. This is two. This is key. This is five. This is six. So five is clock plus clock. And I said pin three. So that was red. This is black on pin four, which is VCC. 
double check that when I get there. Right, it's green. Maybe green's ground. Let's see. Green is... Ground would be on pin 3, which would be on the left here. And it is. It's green, which is ground. And finally, we have a data line, which should be on... Only got one wire left, which is white. White is data. White is data. White is data. White data. Data should be coming in on pin one, which is this lower left than it is. Alright. So now I need to find the ADB pinout. ADB pinout is simpler. PSW, what the heck is PSW? Applejack, thanks. That's for your uh, the apple, that goofy apple thing. Okay, so oh, it's a strange one. So it's this is looking at the female. It goes female. Big keyway on the bottom. That goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one is your ADB, which is your data. This is plus five volts. This is your ground. And this one is your PSU power on. PSU power. Oh, that's if you want to wake it up. Ah, they're not going to have that wake line anyway, so only have to worry about three lines and not clocked. No, it's worth a shot. Okay, so looking at this connector. This camera always gets out of focus. That's why I stopped using it. So then you have this connector, this is the female like this. So when I do it, everything's gonna be flipped over. So this will be the other way. So it's gonna go on the back side, so I'll go one, two, three, four. So it's mirrored over. So all I have to worry about is let's see if we can tag the three wires real quick. I need to go from power is 5 volts, which is on 4, which is going to be on the left now. Ugh. And that is power comes in on black wire. Of course it's black wire. Why wouldn't it be black wire? I'm probably just reusing USB colors because that's what they use. So that is here. If this works, I will be, no pun intended, shocked. So this is the black wire. Worst case, nothing happens. Need the black wire. I need five volts. I need data, which is white. And the green ground. So, 
goodness willing, I will actually, the uh, wombat will actually power up, and all will be right with the world. All it needs to handle 200 milliamps, these wires, so it's not too bad. We get more tin on this one. The black, let's get some more tin on you. And if this works, I'll make something prettier. Good enough. Okay, so then I need power. That was power. Ground is opposite of that, and that's actually green. Luckily enough. A little more. Get this tinned up. I give this about 20% chance of working. Just because I know Tiger now. Alright, so the data is below the 5 volt launches on this pin here. I'm going to leave the power supply online off because. Does work. I'll have a. I have a very shocked look on my face. There we go. Moment of truth. This has an LED on to let me know it's working. Well, it does have LEDs. Nice. So, right over there to here. Learning computer into the wombat. Wombat needs a wombat's here. Wombat's here. Wombat either can do this nifty little PS2 converter. 
We use the classic mousey. Cross your fingers. Let's see what happens. Wombat is on. I can see the power LED there. Let's find a USB mouse here. Somewhere I have a USB mouse. Oh. USB mouse. USB mouse. USB mouse. the uh, one that came with the uh, Raspberry Pi 400, a far more capable machine. Okay. Like I said, I gave it a 50-50 chance and let's Well, gave it a twenty percent chance, and I was right. Which means they're using some sort of weird um, proprietary mouse protocol, which is similar to a keyboard protocol, but not quite. You suck, little computer. All right, so I'll unplug the wombat. Plug it back in one last time. Transmitted from A or B, which must mean it's not talking right. Uh, there is a f USB power adapter on here. Let me try that for giggles for a second. I have one somewhere. That's the Maybe she just has enough power to run it. Last ditch effort here. Alright, plug this into the USB power. This is USB power here. 
here. No data getting transmitted. Oh, nothing there. tried. So it's almost certainly some PS2 like format. And it's like I said, if I plug my keyboard directly into this thing, directly in, keyboard lights do come on. That's my main uh, camera stops working. Definitely. <laughs> well, that's entertaining. Okay, hold on. All right, let's uh, let's change this guy over. This is a that is my full HD webcam, and this. Is is my USB live camera. Oh, huh, well this is entertaining. Oh. Let's go back to this camera here. Come on, there we go. You are HD webcam. Hello. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, this is kind of funny now. It's coming up with the wrong one. Tell you what, I'm going to turn off this camera. Now, actually, I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn this camera off, and then I'm going to set you to the live webcam. Okay, you can't see my face, but that's okay. Don't panic. I'm still here. So I got some I got some motion off of it. See how the F7 key works occasionally. So it's PS2 like, but not quite. I gotta look up the ASCII characters for this part of the keyboard. It's 
something, something very similar. See, I get the mouse to move a little bit. Alright, so it's got to be some sort of... <sighs> Alright. That's it for tonight. This is going to drive me crazy. Thanks for watching, and... Yeah. Probably could do it with a um, Raspberry Pi, but I just have to figure out how to come up with. I want to be able to send 5 volt serial commands to this thing. Do we do a hex inverter? Hmm. I'm talking to myself. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Everyone have a great night.